Hey guys, in this video you will learn how to do the zoom in effect in CapCut. Whether it's an instant zoom or a smooth zoom in and zoom out effect, I'll be showing them all in this video, so let's get started. Okay, so this is our example footage and let's say that you want to make an instant zoom to the video. And to do that we need to cut the video part. First you take this white line to the part that you want to cut and press on Ctrl B if you are on PC. And if you are on Mac, press Command B keep going for a while and press one more time and now we cut this part. Now make sure to select the correct section. You want to add the instant zoom option and also your white line should be on the correct part so you can see the changes. And to zoom into the picture on the right hand side you see this scale option. Just increase it and you see that now we can zoom in to the picture. And now let's play the video from the beginning. And now we see that the instant zoom happens. However, on some cases, you don't want an instant zoom like this, but you want to make it smooth and slowly. If that's the case you want to make, then you are going to need the help of keyframes. So select the video. Each keyframe has a starting point and one ending point. So we need to add two keyframes to the video to make a smooth zoom. Let's take this part as the beginning. And one more time, we need to go here and you see this little diamond icons here. Okay, so if you activate, for example, this one, now, as you see, we have added a keyframe here and this is the starting position. Now, what we want to do is to continue for a couple of seconds to add this zooming effect, okay? And let's say we end it here. Now, before we add the second keyframe, now just zoom in to the picture Okay, let's actually, let's zoom it to the right part somewhere here. And this will be the ending point of your keyframe. But many people actually do a little mistake here. Let me, first, let me show the mistake so you can correct it. If you go back, and let's play it one more time. We see that it zooms, but the position is wrong. And this is where many people make this mistake. So let's fix it now. You can easily reset everything by clicking on this arrow here. It says redo, just click on that. And now everything is reset. Now let's add one more time a keyframe. But this time, you see that there are also other diamonds here. And the mistake happened because we didn't select the position keyframe. You can just select this option on the very top side. So it will activate all of the keyframes. Okay, so this is the starting point now. And after a couple of seconds, now, what we need to do is to add the second keyframe and now when you zoom in and change the position to the right side, this time we see that also the position variable has changed. Now I go back and now let's play it one more time. Now we see that it does the right job. But what about if you want to zoom out back? And to do that, we need to add again the keyframes. one for starting point, like this, another keyframe for ending point, like this, okay? Now I scale it back to 100% and we need to reset the positions as 0, 0. Let's play it one more time. Now it zooms in and after a couple of seconds, it zooms out back. And that's it. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and see you guys in the next video.